I've been living in America my whole life, and I still can't understand some of the language. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't ask me the word of that. Red light, please. <laughs> Our next speaker, <clears throat> Toastmaster ATM, Charles Huckabee. Charles is a past president and a longtime member of one of our Toastmasters. Charles has raised three beautiful daughters and lives in Winter Park, to lives in Winter Park, which he also works and owns his own financial advisory firm for the past 32 years. Charles' speech today is entitled, There's More Than One Way to Win a Battle. Please welcome Toastmaster ATM. Alex. Good morning, Toastmasters. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wow. Who here has used PayPal? Yeah. A Venmo. If you're a parent, you definitely use Venmo. If you are an eBayer, you've used PayPal. Who's heard of SpaceX? Right. Who's heard of Tesla? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I have to admit, years ago, when Elon Musk hit the scene, I was not a believer. I thought he was one of the B.C. Barnum and another Wall Street charlatan, and he knew how to work the bankers and banksters on Wall Street to get what he wanted, raise a lot of money, and do his thing. Well, I was never a true believer in Tesla, I have to admit. I was a naysayer all along. When he opened up SpaceX, I was, what is this? This guy's gonna be reusing rockets He's going to be contracting with the government. He's just, this guy's full of it. <clears throat> Tesla, man, it's just a fancy golf cart with cool technology inside. <laughs> yeah, so what? You can drive without a steering wheel. The car drives itself. Not impressed. Who wants an electric car anyway? It doesn't have an engine in it. It doesn't make the noise. It doesn't have the passion of a stick shift. Steering wheel, brake, clutch, gas. Who wants it? Well, evidently a lot of people do. <laughs> so, I look back at all these different companies and different divisions of what is now, we're all endured with. We use most of these. We watch the rockets go up and okay. cake. What we don't see is the mission behind the madness. Well, we've all seen and watched Tesla stock go from to teens to the thousands. Mm. We've watched all these different divisions operate very successfully. What's very cool about all these things is it's, it, it's it convenience to our lives. I can't tell you how much I use Venmo. Alimony payments, <laughs> <laughs> payments to my children. <laughs> PayPal I've used a few times when I've bought things, sight unseen from people off of Craigslist and things like that. But my point being is that SpaceX's real mission, and this was Elon Musk, which I really didn't pay too much attention to, his mission statement was to provide internet and cell phone service to the world very cheaply. Well, what he has done is nothing short of miraculous. For one, with the regulators and all of just the government bureauc bureaucracy to do what he's done and get done what he's done is truly amazing. Well, what does that mean for me? Well, you know, I've got, I've been an at and -er for three decades now. You know, I had cell phones when it was analog. You know, you had the satchel phone, you carried it in your car, you stop at a stoplight, I'm on my cell phone, don't bother me. <laughs> now it, it's ubiquitous now, everybody has a cell phone around the globe. So, what's my point? Well, Elon Musk is a very strong proponent of free speech. This is not debatable, it's we have free speech. And when he sees this not being respected, wherever it is, wherever it is, it is in the world, it disturbs him. Well, bring back in SpaceX. The whole thing about SpaceX is, is to scatter the globe with low-level orbiting satellites. 30,000 to be exact. 
He sends up a dozen at a time. There's so many SpaceX launches, we just, just we get used to it. We, don't, we ignore it now. Well, he also got the side business, the government contracts and that kind of stuff, to pay for the business. So he's sending these things up basically for free. Star Network, I think is the name of the, the, his network. <clears throat> well, what does he want with Twitter? You ask yourself, what does he want with Twitter? So the, the left, their hair went on fire when he said, I'm buying Twitter. But behind the scenes, what the bigger picture was, and the goal with Twitter is, this is an existential threat to places like China, North Korea, Russia. What's the first thing that happens in a, di in a dictatorship? They control the information. They, it's disinformation and misinformation. We see it right here in our country with what's happened with our own domestic internet and social networks, social, whatever, the, the Twitters and the Facebooks and the YouTubes and what's been deleted and all the stuff that, we're fighting this on our own turf. Well, when Elon Musk bought Twitter, the chief economic guy in China made an express trip to America. Well, he got a tour of the Gigafactory in California. They drove around in one of his Tesla cars for a day or two. They had a long conversation. And this is a smoke-filled room behind closed doors conversation. And that guy from China realizes that what's going on in Ukraine is affecting and could affect him. So when Elon Musk opened his factory in China, they gave him, first time ever, exclusive rights. They gave him the property and they let him open up his wholly owned subsidiary company. He didn't have to divide 50-50 with the government of China. So they gave him his own company. They let him operate independently. Well, when he went over there and opened up his company, the Chinese government immediately set in, they re-engineered, reverse engineered one of his cars and set up five different electric car companies and started competing directly with him. Until he bought Twitter. Now all the information about Elon Musk has changed. They love the guy. And he's complimented them. He understands the PR game with this, with the CCP, the Communist Party of China. What, and I'm running out of time. So what was the first thing that happened in the Ukraine? What did Elon Musk do? He said, I'm sending 5,000 dishes to the Ukraine so they have access to the internet. Well, what does that mean? What does that mean for everybody? It means that everybody has access to the internet. You can see it all over YouTube. But what is Russia thinking? Well, if they can do it in the Ukraine, then they can do it here. The reason China loves Elon Musk is because if he can do it in the Ukraine, he can do it in China. You can smuggle pizza box sized dishes into everywhere and anywhere in the world. So when you ask yourself, what's the end gonna look like? There's more way, there's more than one way to win a battle. Thank you very much.